grace and peace from our God, from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. May the giver of life be with you all. Join me in reading the 100th Psalm. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that has made us. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and His truth endureth to all generations. Let's pray. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord and Giver of all life, in Your image and likeness we are and were created. And by Your power all that lies remains in existence. We come before You today to honor the unborn in this nation who have been put to death. Our nation has sinned against You, Lord, by failing <clears throat> to defend the lives of the 57 million babies that have been mercilessly slaughtered since the legalization of abortion. We seek Your forgiveness for allowing these precious innocents to endure such terror and pain. For failing to do all we could do to stand for the cause of life. We mourn for the lives that have been lost because of our own apathy and selfishness. We ask you to help us to reverence in word and deed all human life from conception until you, until you call us to Yourself. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. From the book of Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, a voice heard in Ramah. Lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, Keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, and there is a reward for your work, says the Lord. They shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, says the Lord. Your children shall come back to their own country. The word of the Lord. Join me if you would, men, young men, ladies, and young ladies, in reading Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, the light around me become night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is the light of you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance, and your book were written all the days that were formed for me, and none of them that were dead as
Praise God. Hallelujah. Join with me as we sing Amazing Grace together. Gospel of Matthew. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Kind and gracious Heavenly Father, God of all life, in your compassion and mercy, you reach out to us, even before we know we need you. We thank you for being our God of forgiveness, our God of mercy, God of hope, and God of restoration. We ask you to transform our nation into one that seeks you, and all that you hold dear. You have commanded us to choose life and choose it abundantly. Lord, help us to join with the power of the Holy Spirit to do all that we can do to encourage respect and protection for life at all stages and ages. Show each of us what part we can play. Father, that we may honor you, that your will may be done on this earth as it is in heaven. We ask this in the mighty and powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.